we're gonna talk about ionic compounds again and we're gonna talk about how ionic bonds form lattice structures. Lattice structures. What is a lattice structure? Well, before we begin, have you ever contemplated like why we can see some chemicals and not others? Like for example, we can see salt, right? Salt. But we can't see oxygen. Have you ever thought about that? Well, the reason... No, 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 I'll let you think about that. Guess the answer? Well, the reason is because oxygens are very simple molecules, but salt is actually a gigantic structure in terms of atomic structure. Gigantic atomic structure. So it would be like if you were the size of one atom and you saw a grain of salt. It would be like the mountain Everest of the things you've never seen before because there's so many of them. But what exactly is in, in salt? All right, here we go. Let's talk about sodium chloride. The sodium and chloride because that is the uh, scientific name for salt, the table salt. Sodium and chloride is formed when sodium and chlorine come together and boom, ionic bond. We have already studied that. And so this sodium and chloride, if, they, if there was only one sodium and one chloride, which is it's just impossible, y'all, and when it forms an ionic bond and it would just happen to be only one particle of that and one particle of that, you would not see that salt. It, it just wouldn't because it's just too small. But it turns out that Salt, when salt forms, when salt is formed, it does not form uh, individually or by itself with one particle of sodium ion and another particle of chloride. There's actually multiple sodium ions and multiple chlorides coming together. And how do they come together? Well, they come together in what we call a lattice structure. Boom, here we go. A lattice structure. Now what is a lattice structure? Well, a lattice structure is when you have ionic bonds of cations and anions coming together in a very neat and orderly fashion. And in your syllabus, it is known as, the lattice structure is known as Repeating units of alternating positive and negative ions. Alright, there's a bit of a mouthful. Repeating units of alternating positive and negative ions. So here I have symbolized the blue little dot as sodium ions and the red dot as chloride ions. Now I know this is on in scale and size and whatever, whatever. The message behind it is, is that there's a sodium. Um, ion here and a chloride ion, a sodium ion and a chloride ion, and a sodium ion and a chloride ion, and a sodium ion, I mean a chloride ion and a sodium ion, and chloride ion, sodium ion, chloride, sodium, chloride, sodium, chloride, sodium, and on and on and on. And actually, it, it, there's not enough canvas space for me to draw the entire grain, uh, the entire structure of one grain of salt. All right, it's just a little bit impossible because I'm talking about no big massive amounts of it, all right? So, so this thing actually expands until your imagination can't take you any further, all right? And not only that, not only does it expand this way on the board, it expands vertically and horizontally, all right? It expands in depth as well. So it, there's layers and layers and layers of that. And all these layers are all connected. All these things are connected. In, in an almost an unimaginable, oh, almost unimaginable lattice structure, yo. It's just crazy. And so what is it exactly? It, it, let's start with a cube, all right? So this is what I've done. I've drawn alternating sodium, chlorine, chloride, sodium, Chloride, sodium, chloride, sodium, chloride, sodium, chloride. All right, I've drawn it into a cube. Now, there's also sodium and chlorides inside and behind this, this cube surface. All right, but the thing is, 
that's just not it. It goes on here, it goes on on and 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 on until you can't imagine any more. Whew. Man, that sure is a lot of ions forming a simple grain of salt. And that is true. And that's indicative for all ionic compounds. Imagine that. Whatever kind of salt that you have. All right. Whatever ionic compounds that you have. There's just poof, tons and tons and tons of it repeating, alternating between positive ions and negative ions on and on and on and on again. And that, my friends, is, uh, is an ionic compound, right? That, my friends, is an ionic compound. And there's tons of ionic bonds, all right? You remember this fact. The tons of ionic bonds, ionic bond, ionic bond, ionic bond, ionic bond, ionic bond, ionic bond, and it goes on and on and on forever and ever and ever until your imagination can't take you any further. So that is it.